The W16 engine that carried the Veyron to a world record and then later helped the Chiron 300 plus to the same record is almost 20 years old. Development for what would be Bugatti's W16 engine began as a drawing on an envelope in 1997. VW Group's chairman of the board of management at the time, Ferdinand Karl Peach, first envisioned an 18-cylinder engine, which in my opinion would have been even crazier. Imagine a W18 engine, the size, the torque, the dead polar bears. That's probably why they decided on the W16. You know, it's more eco-friendly. Anyways, eventually they decided on the 8 liter W16 engine we know today. Now back in 2001, the W16 underwent its first real test. In this test, the engine produced 987 horsepower, or 1001 metric horsepowers. The rapid power of the engine required Bugatti to develop new methods for testing the engine, including a new engine test bench. Imagine developing an engine that breaks your engine dyno. That, that's just insane. Now, development of this engine and the car was really difficult because nobody had done it before. No other company had ever produced a car with 16 pistons or a car that was made with the purpose of going over 400 km per hour. This was uncharted territory. The Bugatti Veyron and its W16 engine wouldn't arrive until 2005, giving the Bugatti engineers 4 years to work on reliability which required more technical innovations since the W16's engine design made detecting misfires or engine knock really difficult. So the company developed Bugatti Ion Current Sensing. It was designed to monitor each spark plug's ion current and it could deactivate the cylinder, slow the timing or reduce the boost pressure if it detected knock or misfires. This meant that every single cylinder can run right at its limit of performance. But this is not where it stopped. Bugatti knows that in order for an engine to last, they have to be cooled properly. And cooling such a monster of an engine is no easy task. A complex water cooling system featuring two water cycles keeps the W16 within its required temperature range, even at extreme full loads. This engine actually has 10 radiators in total, keeping everything nice and cool. Now in 2010, Bugatti upgraded the W16, adding larger turbochargers and other mods which increased power output to 1183 horsepower or 1200 metric horsepower and with this setup they broke their record once again bettering it from 407 kilometers per hour to 431 once again making Bugatti the fastest car in the world then came the Chiron now with the Chiron the engineers faced the challenge of developing a more luxurious and more powerful successor model they wanted to make the W16 more powerful quieter and more cultivated. So basically, they love making life difficult for themselves. They wanted to make more power but still have the same dimensions and engine weight. And on top of all of this, they also wanted to improve the emissions. So basically, they wanted to make the engine better in every way. So they threw out the old and started over. The result, the new W16 derived 1,479 horsepower or 1,500 metric horsepower. And most of the engine's new performance comes from the exhaust gas turbochargers with special new sequential turbocharging. And all of this development paid off with the Chiron Supersport 300 Plus, breaking the speed record in 2019, becoming the first production car to surpass the 300 mile an hour mark, reaching a speed of 490 kilometers per hour. Really cool story behind a really cool engine. And if you ever wondered if a Golf GTI is a good car, now you know. The same people that built the GTI built the Chiron. So you know they're practically the same car. Now, I don't even like a GTI if I'm honest. I'm just talking a bunch of rubbish. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you just enjoy car content in general, this is the place to be for you. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?